Hey guys, it's Alex Williams with Bratton Sports Performance. Today we're going to go over our shuffle mechanics. Now, this is something that every athlete is going to go through on their first agility session with us. Okay, so this drill is going to be something that's kind of broken down and compartmentalized into three separate groups. The first one we're going to focus on is the push. Okay, we want to make sure we're able to create a good push off of our back foot in order to get us in the direction we're going to. So the way we'll do this is we'll set up an athlete on a line or a space on the turf and on go or on our push call we want them to focus on creating that push on their outside leg so if I'm going to my right my push is coming off that left foot so it's down push and out we'll go same thing coming back down push and sit so once we have that down we're going to move to our front foot that front foot is going to be responsible for pulling into the midline so as we set up, we're going to set up in that same start position, but now we're going to bring that toe out slightly on that front foot. Again, I'm going to call a pull, and all that I want the athlete to focus on is pulling the ground into the midline from that heel to toe, almost like they're clawing the ground in. So it's a pull, heel to toe, heel to toe, heel to toe. Again, coming back on the other side, pull, heel to toe, heel to toe. So once we've addressed what the back foot does as it creates that push, and once we've addressed what the front foot does as it creates the pull, we're gonna kind of put the two together into our full shuffle. And so we'll set up an athlete maybe in a five yard space for our older athletes, maybe a seven to 10 yard space. Um, and we're just gonna go a full shuffle. Now, when we get to that next line or that desired distance, we're gonna add a D cell. And so what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we're keeping our feet under our hips and we're dropping those hips low to absorb that force. So we'll set up on a line, on go, going full shuffle, getting a good push out of that back leg, absorbing that force, getting into a D cell at that line. So we're down, go. So to wrap up the shuffle mechanic day, we'll go through a couple times on each side of that shuffle with our D-cell at the line. Uh, depending on the athlete, we may do a couple reps where we increase the distance. If it's an older athlete or a little bit stronger of an athlete, we may add a little reactivity by doing either a visual cue where you know maybe the coach points or an audible cue where we call out a direction or maybe a clap.